Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and in today's video we are going to look at Arnold's off-season diet and how it compared to his pre-contest diet. And this of course follows from my previous video on Arnold's off-season training program and how it compared to his high volume pre-contest training program. And so now I'd like to talk about his off-season diet. Regarding diet, Arnold claims that his off-season diet was not too dissimilar from his pre-contest diet in regards to food choices, although he would eat much less, eating only three times a day, and it would look something like this. Breakfast would consist of a three-egg cheese omelette fried in butter with a waiter vitamin mineral tablet. For lunch, he would have a burger patty with two eggs and a salad, and for dinner, he would eat chicken or fish with salad and supplement with vitamins B, C, and desiccated liver. It is quite clear that Arnold was essentially following Vince's steak and eggs diet during the off-season. Although Arnold claims to not have gone wild with foods during the off-season, it is known that he would carb up on weekends. There are enough stories told of him by many of his training partners back then, including the late Rick Drayson, who would tell the story of how every weekend all the members of Gold's Gym, all the crew would go out to you know, a pie or ice cream joint and just basically indulge. Although this practice made them feel satisfied, yet made them feel a little guilty the following day, the fact is that such practices of replenishing carbohydrates after following a high-protein, high-fat diet would today be called a cyclic ketogenic diet, and when combined with resistance training, are known to cause great pumps in the muscle by replenishing depleted glycogen in the muscle, of course. In preparation for a contest, however, Arnold would almost double his food intake. Arnold would increase his food intake by simply adding a couple of more meals, and his typical day of eating would look something like this. His breakfast would include half a pound burger patty with three or four scrambled eggs and bacon. His lunch would include a big steak and eggs and salad. A mid-afternoon meal would consist of two cans of tuna, salad, and a glass of crash weight formula or Blair's protein. Dinner would be a three-quarter pound steak or chicken or fish and salad and some fruit. During his workouts, he would also drink a protein shake, which was likely Blair's protein or Waiter's Super Pro 101. Understand that Arnold would be working out twice a day, 12 workouts a week on his double split program and on anabolics and therefore would gain muscle on such a diet fast. It can be stated that during this cutting stage, Arnold's bouts of eating pie and ice cream on weekends might have decreased as competition approached and therefore he would be much stricter and essentially follow a steak and eggs diet as described to achieve the muscular separation, the cuts and definition he was looking for. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video on Arnold's off-season diet and how it compared, especially how different it was to his pre-contest diet, which he would of course only use 8 to 12 weeks prior to a competition. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a like and share, subscribe if you haven't done so, and please leave me a comment, and of course click the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is the Golden Era Book I'm saying, bye for now. After Arnold initially retired from competition in 1975, he decided to share the secrets to his bodybuilding success in written booklets which were shared in the seminars that he and John Ballack held. Arnold's original seminar booklets are now available at www.goldenerabookham.com which explain the three phases of golden era style bodybuilding and how to structure your nutrition and training programs for each level as well as how to progressively reach each goal to ensure your bodybuilding goals are achieved. The four booklets in this series explains his six-phase training system, which took you from novice to advanced bodybuilding, nutrition for adding muscular size, pre-contest nutrition for gaining definition, muscular separation and cuts, as well as Arnold's steroid cycle, available only at www.goldenerabookham.com. Now, if you're interested in learning Arnold's original bodybuilding training and nutrition principles, please visit my website for a full collection of booklets, including his arms and chest training programs, available at www.goldenerabookham.com. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabookham.com. 
Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code bookworm12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.